Charlotte's Hope here at Crafty Hip and welcome. I have gotten some happy mail and picked up a couple things and kind of just putting it off to the side to do a reveal. So I'm going to do, because I haven't really completely opened that happy mail, so I thought I would do that on camera. But first let me show you, I've been in and out of the library lately and I always look at the free bookshelf because I cannot help myself, I really shouldn't. But I've been really restricting what I'll let myself bring home. There's a couple things I'm kind of looking for. Um, but I did see this, which is the Discipline of the Methodist Church from 1944. You can see the embossing in here. Um, and I love the size of this book. I don't know if you can tell how little it is. Um, but it's got these, like, paper-thin pages. Um, and it's really just about the set up for the church. It's not, like, anything kind of religious that I wouldn't feel comfortable tearing apart. It's about, like... The hierarchy, I guess, within a single church kind of thing. This one I also found, and it just says Manny and Co Company, Sylvester. Um, and y'all, the pages. Okay, so first off, this is Manny and Company, A Christmas Story. And the pages, y'all, are like watercolor paper. They are so super thick. And there's this piece of like tissue here. Um, I'm just, okay. And all of these pages are like. I don't know, they're watercolor paper with these like lino prints almost, you see with the, and it's just crazy. So it's from 1913, published in the shop of P.F. Voland and Company, Chicago, 1913. So y'all, this is really, it doesn't look like it's 100 years old. I mean, look how that gold leafing and all is still in great condition. Um, and all of this gold is still really good, but it's, yeah. So I grabbed that at the library. So that was two things. So now to my happy mail. I just pulled it out of the mailbox. Oh, I dropped something that was in it. I'm going to stuff that back over here. Um, where did that come from? Okay. Too excited. This is from my friend Terry. Um, I sent her some stuff and she said she was sending me something. So, and I didn't know what. So super excited. Um, I'm hoping my battery will hold out. So first off, look how gorgeous this is. I think I'm going to be not patient and see if I can get this off without, well, no, maybe I need to untie it. It's just so pretty. Look at that. I'm going to take a picture of it real quick. <laughs> okay, now I will untie it. All right, so this, um, I can't tell what kind of dye she's got on here. If it's an eco dye or something else. I'll have to ask her. Um, but let's see. There's this beautiful piece of like crocheted lace here. That's all been whatever this dye is. And then some other fabric. This would be great for some of my stitching for my iCads. So and then a little box. Oh my goodness. Look at this. How pretty is this little frame? that little guy in it oh I'll have to ask Terry about this that's super neat yep and she's gonna definitely be answering some questions for me because <laughs> she wouldn't tell me what she was sending all right so here of course is some sewing paper and she's got that really strong tape on it so okay this must have come in from whatever this was so let's see We'll start with this one. I kind of want to take pictures of them too. So let me see. We'll start with the big one. And this ribbon is some that I know she dyed herself because she has sent me a ribbon like this before. And here's another beautiful piece of like dyed crocheted lace. And she's run that ribbon straight through it. That, that is really cool. Alright, and then this is some tissue paper that seems like she must have died. Look at the markings on it. Look at those. Super neat. Alright, another little box. Oh. Oh, these are buttons. Oh my gosh. Oh, Terry. These buttons are phenomenal. These are Oh my gosh, these are going to be the star of my collection. Nothing in my collection is like this. This is set stone and rhinestones with enameling on it. That would make some amazing earrings, but I'd have to figure out how to wire them. Hmm, Terry, what have you done? Okay, so we'll do the little one now. Let's see. I 
I didn't break anything when it fell in my rush. Y'all, if I did, I'm going to cry after seeing those other two pieces. Let's see. So that was some more of Terry's ribbon and then some more of the tissue paper. This is heavy. Oh, please don't be broken. Oh, it's another little frame with like a hanger and everything just like the other one. And this one's got a little print of a mom and a little girl on a dock. How pretty is that? Oh my gosh, Terry. All right. So we'll get to this last one. I say last. Oh, and some napkins. Okay, cool. So I'm going to put this aside because we'll definitely use that. And then she sent me some. Oh, this is cute. The like ragweed with the bumblebees on it. How cute. Oh, I like this with the eucalyptus. That's really pretty. Oh, she sent me several of those. That just said, oh, oh my gosh. This is the best one ever. Oh, look at the mushrooms. That is fabulous. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it so much. Ah! Um, some little, like, watercolor flowers. <coughs> this ornamental design. Some sunflowers. And then, uh, was like Queen Anne's Lace? Is that what that is? With some more flowers. And then, oh my gosh, look at this big old safety pen. Oh, what do you even do with a safety pin this size? I don't know, but it's super neat. Does it work? Oh my gosh, it does. It's that's like a hand workout. <laughs> oh my gosh, Terry, you absolutely spoiled me. I love it. I don't know if the uh, rust fabric that I sent you is worth all of these beauties, but I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for all of this gorgeousness. I mean. Shoot, you could have just sent these little fabrics and I would have been thrilled. These buttons and frames you have. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I just remembered another gift I received from someone and that is this fun tin. It is a hinged tin. This one's a bit rusty. I was probably out in a shed or something. It's got some um, oak like stuff in it so it'll need to be cleaned out but that I've had one of these tins before and used them and they've got some great nautical um stuff and I mean who can turn down some blue but even like these fun little scallops in the corners so that was a great thrifty haul because that was that was free so I'll add more to this Pardon the jewelry making going on here but I've got a couple more things for one uh Tuesday mornings are closing they've I don't know. Um, and I thought, gosh, I don't know, maybe a year ago I had heard that they were no longer carrying craft supplies. And so I hadn't been there because I heard they weren't carrying them and it happened to pop in, oh, I don't know, a month or two ago just before they announced they were closing and found they're still carrying them. So now that they're closing, um, mine currently has everything 40 to 50% off. By the time you see this, it may have gone up. So I bought two weeks ago some stuff there, and the craft supplies were only 10% off. This week, they were 40% off. So I picked up these two Tim Holtz pieces. Um, they were $6 each. I got them for three something, I think. I'm not sure um, exactly what. I know I did the math before I left, but I thought there needs 10 pieces in here. Um, they're nice and heavy, and I thought I could even cast them if I wanted. So that's fun. The big thing though today is that I got some happy mail from a friend. Um, she decorated that all up. I guess she was covering up something. Um, anyway, um, she told me last week that she had a quilt top that she wanted to get rid of that her mom or somebody had picked up at a yard sale and wanted to send it to me. So I haven't looked at it yet. I did get the packaging open and I pulled out the card she sent. But, um, let's look at it. Let's see. Oh, y'all, look. Oh, there's just stuff, something in here. Oh. Oh, this is a bunch of, like, okay, cool FedEx stickers that have been X'd out that she sent me. Those would be fun to collage with. So, yeah, thank you, Jackie. Um, 
but yeah, she sent me this quote. She was all kinds of concerned that it had a stain on it. But when she told me she had it, I was like, y'all, I could totally probably make a, oh yeah, there's a stain on it. That's not a big deal. But she was like, you could do some of your stitching on it. Or, and I told her it might make a great journal cover. So yeah, there's some really neat fabrics in here. Like, look at these. Look at that. That is really nice. Jackie, thank you so much. This is going to be so fun to play with. This is definitely like a, just a patchwork thing. It looks like it's just excess fabric that people, whoever put it together, had. But I like, like, look at this. I really love that, this like section right here. Oh yeah, it's got some neat colors over here as well. Yeah, oh. That is like embroidered right there. Huh. There's another. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Thank you. Oh, see, this is pretty right here. Look at that with, like, the little church on it, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that section. So, there are definitely some neat sections. The, the filler that's in here, this blue with the stripes, I'm not as keen on. But some of these other sections, like this even, is really neat. So... I like that. I'm going to put it with the other old quilt that I have, and hopefully I will get some ideas soon. Might even, I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready to snip it down for the hundred, I mean for ICAD, but we'll see. So thanks Jackie. And got a couple quick things that I'm going to add to this. Um, I've been using the library quite a bit, mostly for their internet so I can get my videos up because they've got great internet and it takes me a lot less time. So when I'm in that area, I can just pop in, upload my videos rather than taking so much time here. Anyway, you don't need to know all that. They have a free shelf. Um, I can't remember. I've probably already shown y'all some books I've gotten there. And so that's dangerous for me to go in the library because I always have to look at the free shelf. Um, two different trips. One trip I found this Youth Sings book. Um, the copyright down here I think is like 54-ish. Um, and it's really beautiful pages. It's got this, you know, little piece in it. It's something somebody definitely donated to the library. But I love these pages. They're great. That was one trip. And that was all I got. On another trip, I picked this up. This looks like it was something that somebody donated. It's from, I guess, yeah, it's got the pound sign on it and everything. Um, from... Barrington Court. I don't know. I'm guessing it's some kind of garden castle thing. I just like some of the pictures that are in it. I thought they were really great. So that's why I got it for some of the pictures. This just fell out of something. Old card. And then there was this. Um, the Prehistoric World. And I really just like the cover of this book, y'all. Um, it says Mobile, Alabama, so I'm not sure if it's from a school. Let's see. See, it's got a book. I mean, it's got, like, these things back here. Last time it was checked out was 2003. But it's got all kinds of things, like dinosaurs and, um, mostly dinosaurs. <laughs> but there's some other images and stuff in it that I thought, like, some of the shells and things in here. Um, but like I said, I really, what I really liked, I mean, you can look at this... Um, I really like this cover. And then the last thing, I picked up a couple things at the Dollar Tree, but this is the first time I've ever seen this. It's a calligraphy pen. It probably is pretty iffy. I'm trying to find a piece of paper to write on so we can test it out real quick. Um, when it was, when I checked out, even the lady working there kind of did a double take at it. Like she didn't know it was there and it was kind of hidden when I got it. And I'm expecting it to completely be, you know, kind of bobo. So we are going to insert the ink cartridge in this way. Insert tightly. To avoid leaking. I don't know how to insert it tightly. I don't know if I need to turn and pop that's how a lot of them are so I'm gonna try putting it on and we'll see if it pops somehow I don't think that opened hmm it says it will take a few minutes for the ink to reach the dent but I don't think it opened so I'm gonna turn it upside down there we go 
All right. <laughs> and it does have a lid. And there were a couple different designs um, of ones, but this one's got like blues and greens. So I like that one. So, um, well, I may give it a few minutes. I'm trying to decide. I kind of want to just stand it up like this somehow. <laughs> hmm. All right. I'll come back in just a minute. All right, it's been a few minutes. Let's see if it's done anything. Probably not. Like I said, this is just a, oh, look at his writing. Hey, look at that. <laughs> All right, so it's seriously just, and it probably will not last me very long, but I am excited. The Dollar Tree had this. I bought calligraphy pens or fountain tip pens like this before at um, Five Below. They never last long, but it was kind of exciting find. All right, I will add anything else to this that comes along. This is probably the last little section for this. Um, I've got three different little hauls. This first one is actually from um, Walmart. I had to run in to look for something. Decided to run down their clearance aisle and they had these, I don't know if you can see how big this bag is. Um, these big reusable bags, they're not very wide. Um, so they're fairly thin, but they were 10 cents each. So I got three of them. I got this one. I'll show you the other two in a second. I've got them on the bottom, but I love this one a lot. Um, and But I thought they'd work as great, like, gift bags even. So in the clearance section, I also picked up this is some kind of scraper. I don't even know what section this would have been in. But it just says MS Scraper Red. And it's got, like, a rubbery tip. And this side is a scraper. So, I, you know, it could be a cool art tool. There was also some brown acrylic paint um, and some of their Dale Rowney stuff. It was $1.50, I figured, hey. And then this is some kind of block toy. Um, I am going to play with it. I think it could be just like a fidget thing. I'll play with it later. Um, here are the other two bags. This is, I also picked up some school supplies. They had composition notebooks for $0.50 cents and spiral binders for 35 and I love I love to have some paper on hand and I got a plastic binder head that was 97 cents or something it's all with the school supply stuff so the other two bags I got there's this one that says crazy cat lady and has all the cats I thought that would be really cute for one of my nieces um and then this one has a bunch of just plants on it which I thought was pretty and there were a couple other styles of course I'm knocking stuff all over um because they're so big so that was all I got at Walmart then I um I had to go to the library to upload some videos let's see more centered over my desk um but then my big aim was to go to an estate sale and the first place I went and looked was in the garage and there were lots of big coffee cans like this that were all labeled with different things like I almost got one that said chain on it and there was one that said hinges but they were like big things I wouldn't use but I got this plumbing one mostly because I found it had these two in there and I love the patina on this one it's so gorgeous so yeah I bought it because I like I like the spigots um there's other things in here too there's like some some oh I need to hammer that down some picture hangers and like little bags of things and um a hose end and all kinds of stuff I don't like my hand being on that um that I don't know could be I suppose for plumbing but like this is a magnetic hook um so it's just got all kinds of stuff in it that I'm going to sort through there's a drill attachment that is definitely not plumbing more of these hooks um gosh that's a like a light socket converter thing uh, so it's not all plumbing I don't guess <laughs> but I, I liked the um the faucets or what I got it for so that was four dollars the other big thing that I got at the estate sale was y'all I'm so excited about this is a big guillotine all right I'm gonna have to move my bucket is a guillotine paper cutter um like this it was six dollars so 
Um, that's $10. They basically, once they hit $10, were like, you can have the rest of it for free. Um, well, and they were like, just give us $10 for all of this. And so, yeah, I walked away with the rest of this stuff for free. So they did put, I got a free um, reusable bag because they put my bucket of plumbing supplies in it to carry it out because she didn't think a plastic bag would work. But then I got show you what's in here so the reason I went to that estate sale was because I could see online that it um she was a crafter so a lot of the stuff had been picked over it definitely wasn't as much because the estate sale started yesterday and I didn't go till this morning so it you know a full day has already elapsed but what I did find were she had buckets of like wood components and stuff and at the bottom of it I found um, these wings and I think that these match um, I think there's two in each of them these are wood and these are metal and I thought those were super neat um, there was this container of graphite sticks I'm not sure if they're water soluble on or not I will find out they're from Hobby Lobby but they're unopened and they come in a little tin and I'm yeah I'm pretty excited about that and then some solder um, for three dollars. The solder I have found is super expensive. So, um, and it is lead free, which is all I care. It says it's Metal Gutters 10 Work Auto Care. So, we'll see. I'm, it's not for plumbing, so that's fine. Whatever. I'll figure out how I can, I can use it best. Um, because, yeah, I like to solder. So, that was the second stop I made. And then the last place I went, if I can find my bag, was Hobby Lobby. I needed, oh, I needed one particular thing in, um, in the jewelry findings, and it was on sale. So I was like, I'll run. But then, of course, what you know, the, most of the fine art section was on their 75% off clearance. So let me show you what all I got. Um, I've been wanting some natural art sponges. So I got this one for two dollars they had a bunch of different like variations of it but since i you know i just got some they had um brushes tons of these brushes cassettes on sale so i i took far too long to like look at them and try to figure out what i want and ended up with these two this one was a dollar 99 i'm trying to figure out how many brushes are in here two four six eight ten brushes and this one's got six and i got it for a dollar 49 so and there were bunches more there were but y'all i have a stockpile of brushes that i tend to pick up whenever i see them so i didn't really need more brushes but i figure why not so what else did i get um they okay y'all this was the best thing the amsterdam acrylic inks were on clearance again so i got some pretty basic ones um i got this one was messed up but i don't care it is the neutral gray i think that's what it says um neutral gray this is the um burnt sienna and then this one is oh hold on i can't see it says azo something but i don't know hold on Azo yellow I'm trying to see but there was also a lighter yellow and a pink that I picked up and a red Azo yellow deep so I got those three they were a dollar 49 each so um I, I am good with that um they have a bunch of die cuts on sale Tim Holtz whatever and I've just they're just not reduced enough for me but this one I really thought I might use I like the leaves and the flowers in this one and it was only 311 so I picked it up um they did have a bunch of beads on sale here's what I went for crimp beads um <laughs> or crimp tubes that's whatever um i picked up i know i've never used them before but these are super duos so they're little like seed beads with two holes and um and they were a dollar 49 and a dollar 99 so i picked those up and then silver and gold beads these are some check ones they were only 74 cents and then these silver ones for dollar 74 um i found some owl beads for a dollar twenty-four, they might be check. Let me see. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I can't. They put these stickers like always in the worst place. I don't know why. Why couldn't they put it back here? I guess then it couldn't be seen. But 
it just says glass. Um, and okay, in over in the wedding, and they put all the wedding and like fiber stuff, like the yarn and stuff and fabric together. Seventy five cents for this little frame. I thought it could be neat in an assemblage. I actually thought, what if I had that? You see it with the spigot coming out. I don't know. Just a thought. Just a thought. And then the last thing I got was this thing of Liquitex acrylic medium for $7.24, regularly $27. They had a smaller one too that was three something, but I figured why not get the big one when I can get the big one. So it is, um, it's not, it doesn't say fluid medium, but it is, oh there it does, it's fluid, yeah. It's fluid matte medium. So um, I've been conserving the little bottle that I have for far too long. So I'm excited to have picked up a big bottle of it. And I'm going to put it in like one of these little containers like this to use it easily on my desk. So that's my plan because I've got this cheaper stuff that I've, I like for some things. But I think, I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably end up hoarding this. <laughs> And that's it guys. That was that is probably everything. I'm trying to keep myself from going to another Hobby Lobby to see what else I might find on clearance because it is towards the Gulf and um it's a Friday right now and traffic will be crazy. So um, I don't really want to do that. So, yeah. Anyway, so that is everything. Um, I, this has been recorded over probably s several weeks, almost a month. And I will, um, yeah, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. And I will see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you've thrifted lately or found a great deal on. Because, yeah, we all love a deal, don't we? <laughs> all right. Bye.